My name is Ben Greenfield, and on this episode of the Ben Greenfield Life Podcast. I've seen thousands of people, they come for one of these breathwork concerts, and we start off blindfolded with movement. And person's first time, they're kind of moving a bit. In their mind, it's, I look silly. Even though they're blindfolded, what are people going to think? And then, you know, it comes time to scream, and it's like, ah. And then, you know, five weeks later, after five sessions, it's like, yeah, of course I'm going to, when do, in my life, do I scream? You know, like we're meant to let it out. And it's like, when was the last time you just walked in your backyard and ripped a scream? And so I think guiding people to feel okay expressing themselves is so powerful. Faith, family, fitness, health, performance, nutrition, longevity, ancestral living, biohacking, and a whole lot more. Welcome to the show. You may have seen me or heard about me wearing this little haptic sensation producing device around my ankle and around my wrist called the Apollo. It's a wearable. It's a very unique wearable. I interviewed the guy who designed it, Dr. David Rabin, on my podcast a couple of years ago. I've been using it ever since. I love it for sleep and for naps and for relaxation and for meditation. But you can also wear it for like party mode to increase social ability, to decrease anxiety, almost as like a social lubricant without drinking alcohol. The more you use it, the better it seems to work based on it training your nervous system to tune in to this this little vibratory sensation that it produces more efficiently the more you use it. it has no side effects you don't take supplements or medications or anything it also helps to support your natural circadian rhythm and apollo wearable users can get an extra 30 minutes of high quality sleep per night they're even doing some very interesting studies along with the aura ring folks on how good this apollo works for decreasing sleep latency how long it takes you to fall asleep and the actual increase in deep sleep, 19% more time in deep sleep on average reported by the Apollo wearable users. And they can access this data from the Aura Ring. They found 11% increase in HRV, 25% more reported focus and concentration, 40% less stress and feelings of anxiety. So pretty cool device, pretty easy. Just strap it around your wrist or your ankle and uh, you can experience it. It's, it's very cool. So you go to Apollo Neuro, A-P-O-L-L-O, Apollo Neuro, N-E-U-R-O, ApolloNeuro.com slash Ben Greenfield and use code BG15 for 15% off of this cool, cool little device. Well, Thanksgiving has passed. The free turkeys are gone, but they've been replaced by two pounds of 100% grass-fed ground beef for free. That's right. ButcherBox is at it again, throwing you all sorts of free goodies in any of your boxes when you sign up for one of their new memberships. I actually got a membership for my mom for Christmas a couple of years ago. So it's a great Christmas gift too. You go to butcherbox.com slash Ben to receive this offer. It only goes December 1st, the 25th. So when you join, you get two pounds of 100% grass-fed ground beef in every box, not just once, every box for the lifetime of your membership. And this is good stuff. It's delicious, 100% grass-fed. They also have free-range organic chicken, pork that's raised crate free. They got wild caught seafood and the average cost on this stuff comes out to less than six bucks per meal for a meal. You'd pay literally like dozens of dollars more than that for at like a steakhouse or a restaurant to actually get good organic or grass fed grass finished protein into your hands. And so uh, what butcher box does is they go straight to the farmer. And so they knock out the middleman and it comes straight to you in a hundred percent recyclable boxes. You choose your box, you choose your delivery frequency. You can get a popular custom box, four different curated box options. They source from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. And this stuff just tastes different. It tastes good. So go to butcherbox.com slash Ben, butcherbox.com slash Ben. That'll get you in on this offer that is good to go anytime between December 1st and December 25th. Whole body wellness is obviously a big part of my life. I'm always looking for new ways to make my body feel great, make my brain feel great. One non-negotiable for me is a daily dose of red light. I can use it to simulate sunlight. I can use it to simulate sunrise, sunset, right in my office, bringing the sun into my own office. The infrared light spectrum is fantastic for boosting cellular energy, for healing damaged cells that are under oxidative stress. There's a ton of clinically proven benefits to it. Better skin, higher testosterone better blood flow to the whole body, pre-workout or post-workout for recovery. Use them in your office at night when you don't want to flip on all the bright lights, but you want that giant dose of soothing red light therapy. 
And what I go to is Juve for my red light. They source from the highest quality materials. They got medical grade components. They went through third party testing. They have safety marks from nationally recognized testing laboratories. They give you the safest, most reliable product. It's unmatched. There's a lot of red light companies out there, but Juve is unmatched. They have a whole body treatment device. I can treat my whole body in 10 to 20 minutes. I do it once a day. They even have a little handheld device called the Juve Go. I can throw in my suitcase and take with me on the go. Barely weighs anything. And so I can do my red light when I'm in my hotel room anywhere in the world. This stuff just works. It travels through TSA too, also just fine. So juve.com slash Ben, J-O-O-V-V dot com slash Ben. Apply my code Ben to your qualifying order and you can feel what infrared's actually like in terms of a big upgrade in your health. J-O-O-V-V dot com forward slash Ben and you're going to get an exclusive discount on your first order when you use my code Ben on your qualifying order. Well, 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 folks, no surprises here. It seems everybody's talking about breath work a lot. You probably know you should be doing it to, for example, stay alive, but there's a lot of other benefits to the inspiratory and expiratory process that, again, I'm sure that you've heard a lot of people talking about all these new breathwork apps and breathwork systems and the different ways you're supposed to breathe before you get into, I don't know, like cold water or go to sleep or meditate. And it can be kind of dizzying, I guess, in this case, literally and figuratively, to know how it is that you're actually supposed to piece together all this advice out there on breath work. And especially when it comes to apps, there's a dizzying variety of breath work apps out there. I've experimented with dozens and dozens of them just because I'm kind of obsessed with ways to enhance my own physiology via my breath. And uh, you may have heard me talking before in the past about this one that's probably my creme de la creme, my my top app that I use uh, along with my sons and friends when they come visit my house for breath work. Uh, as a matter of fact, a whole bunch of members of the Ben Greenfield Life team use this, and we uh, we even did a, a morning session every day during our recent team retreat. So this is an app. It's called Othership, and it's got basically like 500 plus different breath work sessions in it, anywhere from two minutes to like over an hour in length, like the super short pick me up stuff to like 50 to 70 ish minute, like holotropic style trippy breathwork sessions. But they've got instructors that walk you through everything. They've got really good music. Uh, They've got some special beats in there that kind of help shift your brainwave state if you wear headphones. And the thing just freaking works. So I've been using it long enough to where I actually wanted to kind of get an insider glimpse of not just breathwork in general, but also this app, how it works, and some of the other very, very interesting things when it comes to like breathwork concerts and breathwork saunas and how to pair sauna and ice bath with breathwork. And and then a lot of the things that you should know about when it comes to hacks for breathwork, supplements for breathwork, et cetera. So my friend, Robbie Bent, reached out to me it was last year sometime when he was in the process of actually creating other ship along with some kind of brick and mortar facilities that you consider to be almost like breathwork gyms. And we've been going back and forth for a while, you know, especially once I started using the app. He even published an article on my website about ways to incorporate breathwork into your life. But today I've got Robbie on the show. And, and Robbie actually has a history that goes far beyond breath work. He has been a GP at Vine Ventures, which is a, a psychedelic medicine venture fund committed to giving a whole bunch of money to research and charitable causes. He did a lot of work in crypto. He was an early employee at the Ethereum Foundation. Just a super interesting guy. So Robbie, I've laid down the foundation. Now you just got to live up to it. <laughs> That's great, man. I'm I'm super excited to be here. It's really a dream. I was mentioning earlier about three years ago, I was doing this practice where I would record a voice note in my own voice of stuff I want to happen. And then I would listen to it after every meditation. Mm-hmm. And in that meditation, you know, in that note, it was, hey, I, I want to become friends with Ben Greenfield <laughs> and get him to use my my product. And you know, be a fan of what we're doing and like be inspired by it. And, you know, I'll talk a bit about why we we built this, but to do that every day and then come on your show, you know, your show was where I actually learned about ice bath saunas. Oh, no way. My wife at the time shared it with me and it actually became our our first date was a ice bath and sauna. And she said, Hey, like, do you want to go try this thing? And so listening to you in those early days kind of led to, 
my interest in a lot of this stuff. And since it's really like, you know, I just want to start off and say, hey, this is kind of a dream uh, for me and really exciting to uh, be on with you, having listened to that voice note every day for people listening. It's like, oh, maybe this manifestation stuff actually actually works. Yeah. Well, kudos for making your first date, uh, ice bath and a sauna. It apparently worked out because you guys, don't you guys have a kid now? We do. We just had a baby yeah. uh, last month. So we're about five weeks in. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, that's a whole... <laughs> Well, other story about nervous system regulation. <laughs> yes, it is. And and then, of course, that begs the question whether or not you're going to have a baby breathwork session. with, a, or, or I suppose a baby breathwork session, or as I learned when my wife and I did our, our home birth attempt when my sons were born 14 years ago, the whole breathwork routine for leading up to giving birth or, or during the process of birth. What Do you remember what they call it? It's like, it's like a Lamaze breathing or something like that? Lamaze breathing, yeah. very, very similar to what you're trained to do in the ice bath, long, slow exhales, Yeah, moving into the parasympathetic state. Yeah, cool. I'm just curious, before we kind of dive into other ship and everything you guys are doing over there, do, do you have like a long history of having used breath work with your own career in, in crypto or anywhere else? Yeah, I think for me, it's personal. I really suffered with nervous system dysregulation. And so the reality is in today's society, you know, 90 plus percent of people, their, their nervous systems are, are we have chronic fatigue, overstimulation, fight or flight all the time. You know, I, I could ask people a series of questions like, when was the last time you were bored? How are you feeling today really? And was there space to even know? And like, do you always feel tired and overwhelmed? And for many people, the answer to all of those is, is yeah, I've, you know, I'm always, right. I get up, I start my task list, I drink my coffee, I'm on my computer, my phone all day, I'm on social media, I'm sedentary. And so as a result, like you, you talk about this all the time, but we're not meant to live like that. And if we're in overstimulated fight or flight states all the time, we're not in the rest and digest nervous system state, which is where we find meaning, emotion, love. Right. All these amazing feelings. And and I don't mean to play devil's advocate. Of course, you want to have some amount of like cell danger syndrome turned on because if not, you'd be the person who'd get whatever bitten by a snake or eaten by a lion whenever danger popped up because you would just basically be, you know, bending down and smelling the roses and, and everything would be unicorns and butterflies. But yeah, we we tap into that sympathetic state so much now to the extent to where, I mean, literally, when I say like cell danger syndrome, there's entire books written about how the cells are just spinning in this stress state that limits everything from like metabolism to removal of metabolic waste to cellular turnover. So yeah, it's, it's kind of like that mild hormetic edge that stress gives you is now all of a sudden, you know, blown out of control with the dial turned up all the time. Yeah. And as a result, what are you missing out on? Right. And it's, if you're not careful or you know pragmatic or planning you're, you're missing out on you know laughter and <laughs> eye gazing and these amazing emotions and feelings of love that come from you know, it's hard to be in both states at once and so if you're kind of a workaholic and you're listening for me i had a, a company that ended up failing uh so total fight or flight every day worried about survival money occupation you know felt i was a failure when the company failed i lost Ton, like you know, pretty much everything I had, I had to move back in with my parents and to deal with that stress. I didn't know about any of these tools, and so I, I went to drugs and alcohol. And so it would be, you know, Thursday, Friday night uh, after work, like try to forget, try to escape, try to numb out from the stress and not feel it. And so I really hit rock bottom, a point of, you know, I, I feel like a total failure. I don't know what I'm going to do in life. And it was in that point I started to find new techniques to learn to master my my nervous system state and breath work was the was the number one most impactful yeah and, and so when it comes to the the idea of breath work for you were you just like using apps were you watching you know wim hof in his underwear videos or what what was it that you were relying on as your main kind of source of education with breath work at that point yeah so i started there, there wasn't much and i i started actually with ice bath and saunas and so you know, I had mentioned we, we went on my first date with my wife and I was in the ice bath. And as somebody who loves stimulation and struggled with drugs, it's an incredible boost, a healthy boost of norepinephrine and dopamine. So like you feel instantly alive. Yeah. And so I was doing that every week. Like what is happening? Like, this is crazy. I'm driving 40 minutes to, you know, a Russian style bathhouse outside of the city, you know, twice a week. I'm doing this socially and 
why am I feeling so good? And so I started listening to podcasts with Wim Hof. I did his training. And when I was at the training, he, you know, prepped with a breath work. And then I looked up some more and he had a few podcasts on, you know, on YouTube where he would guide these 30 minute breath works. And I listened to a same episode, you know, almost 300 days in a row every morning as a coffee enhancer, as part of my morning routine, I would, you know, start with this 10, 15, 20 minute Wim Hof style breathing with coffee to boost my state. And so it was like, every time I did that, I would really uh, turn on. And I felt the first time, like these just feelings of inspiration, creativity, energy. And that's that, like, you know, we said, pushing the gas pedal on the nervous system in the morning. Yeah. And, and so the, the length of time that you were doing something like that, were you like kind of like a short two, five minute guy was like 15, 20 minutes or, or for somebody who was just getting started like that, what worked for you? Yeah, I'd say the ideal. And, you know, if you're really interested in this as a beginner in the app, there's a section just titled up. And all we mean by up is, you know, think of it as the rocket launch, the gas pedal, the energy booster, the focus enhancer. And so for me, it's in the morning, it was about 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, it would be around three rounds of Tumo slash Wim Hof slash cyclical breathing. And in the holds, we'd have some gratitude practice. And Mm -hmm. so it was combining, kind of making, I was always doing these long morning routines. And so it was like, well, how do we make the morning routine as fast and effective as possible in 10 minutes? And so the idea is you can pop in headphones, play this, do this every morning and then have a coffee and you're, you're sort of good to go. Yeah. It's kind of shocking. Like I think a lot of people feel he got to take a big chunk of time and have that available for breath work, but you, you can wake up and at some point during your morning stretch routine, even do like two minutes and that alone, you, you feel that physiological shift, that acid alkaline balancing, that slight, uh, you know, breath hunger, that slight air hunger. And it really does not take long. And then the problem is that it becomes addictive and you're like, man, two minutes felt good. I got to go four and then eventually four becomes eight. And, you know, before long, you're, you're spending 20 minutes every morning. But yeah, it really doesn't take that long. And that that's, I think, what surprises a lot of people who feel like it's yet another thing they have to add in is is it doesn't take that long. And, and you know, sometimes I chuckle when I look at, at your app, for example, and I see that there's like two minute sessions on there. But at the same time, like you actually can like during a pom- Pomodoro break from work or like right in the morning as the coffee is boiling, squeeze it in. And so. You're right. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be super long. And I, I wanted to actually ask you some questions about other ship, particularly though, because there's some stuff that's going on when I'm using that app that just seems to be a little bit different than others that I've used. And so my first question is when it comes to headphones versus no headphones, is there anything going on with the actual science in the audio that would require headphones? And if so, what would that be? There are a couple tracks in the down section that utilize binaural beats. And so those binaural beats when using headphones can help. I mean, the science is questionable around binaural beats in general, but the idea is that these certain frequencies can help entrain your brain into a parasympathetic state. Mm -hmm. So when using, when using headphones with those particular sessions, like there's one called intercom and there's beats played at slightly different frequencies into each ear. And as a result, it's helping to entrain your brain waves into a theta or delta or alpha or beta state. So for relaxation, the idea is you're combining uh, slow breathing, right? So when you're slowing your breath, you're reducing your heart rate. So generally the slower, longer exhales and slow breath retentions in a period of two to three minutes can shift you into that rest and digest yeah. gas, you know, break nervous system state. And then the binaural beats on top help to as well move you into that state of, you know, gentle relaxation and focus. But the lion's share of the sessions, I don't need headphones for, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it's, just, it's more a matter of like, hey, where does this sound better for you? And if yeah. you have an amazing sound system, you know, when we do group sessions, you mentioned breathwork concerts, they're on massive speakers. And that's sort of my favorite. If I'm alone at home, I'll use uh, headphones for down sessions. But there's not, if you're not using headphones, it's not a big deal. I think I would just optimize for where where it sounds best. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I, I actually like to play in the surround sign sound in the, uh, in the sauna. That's what my sons and I do most of our breath work. Like when we first started using your app, we were doing, 
we went through a gong where we did like 30 days in a row. And then we shifted to three times a week. We were doing like a 12 to 15 minute session. And then twice a month, we did the big hour long ones. And I mean, my, my sons were troopers. We would literally jack up the sauna to full intensity and then start those big, long hour sessions where you're pretty much like tripping by the end. I mean, your, your body's just on a totally different planet and you're covered in sweat. And then, you know, mom would always chuckle because we'd come upstairs to dinner, you know, after we hit the cold tub and, you know, like halfway through dinner, we'd all be basically ready to crawl into bed, just totally exhausted from this really intensive breathwork session. But the audio does work really well when you, when you play a surround sound like that, which is cool. Now, the next thing is that you have all of these voices, like these these different personalities, these, these people that guide you through the session, sometimes more than one voice. Who are these people, like like all these folks who are actually submitting breath work to the app? The majority, you know, kind of 40 to 50 percent are my co-founders, Harry and Amanda. Um, Harry and Amanda are two of my best friends. And we've been, Othership actually started as a physical space. So it started as an ice bath in the backyard. From that place, we were doing, it was just open. Like it was an open backyard in the middle of Toronto where anyone could come and use this ice bath. And it was a WhatsApp group where people would join. And every night, you know, people from the neighborhood would come in, some strangers, some new people, some return people. And there would be an ice bath class with a fire pit. And then as that became super successful, winter hit. And so we built a garage space with a sauna, ice bath, and tea room. And in that space, we started to teach people breathwork as part of the programming. And so Harry and Amanda are, you know, world leading a thing called a sauna master, which we actually don't have in North America. It's, there's a technique in Europe called off goose, and it involves towel waving, essential oils. What'd you call it? Yeah. A-U-F-G-U-S-S off goose. Okay. And there's actually championships in Europe where it's mastering the art of sauna performance. And so imagine huh. sort of like figure skating where you're in the sauna, the sauna fits 300 people. The sauna master is dancing, waving the towel, putting different essential oils on the stove, commanding the space. And so Harry and Amanda lived in Europe and were trained sauna masters. And as part of that route, Whoa. Uh, they also learned about breath work. And so our, our idea, our goal was really to bring these techniques that help help you master your nervous system in a way that's accessible and fun and community driven. And so it's, it's breath work. Yes, but it's also these other techniques. And so, you know, what's different about our breath work is the amount of emotion that's included. So as you know, there's, you know, couple sessions, there's anger releases, there's guilt releases, there's self-love. And so woven into the breath work sessions are NLP and hypnosis and different visualizations. And so we actually work with five to 10 therapists to script write each session. And then a number, most of the people who do the voice work are just people who are interested in Toronto and our community and then have reached out and say like, hey, I want to help you guys. I would love to come in the studio and, and help out and do some research. And so we'll just go to, you know, our customers and say, hey, what do you guys want? Someone will say, oh, I'm struggling with anger. Can you make one on anger? And we'll, we'll work with a therapist to write a script on releasing anger. And then we'll put it to breath work. And Harry and a sound engineer will actually work through the studio and try to make every single one like a piece of art, you know, he'll, he'll produce yeah. the breath in the back and the heartbeats and the sound to make it exactly at that point of, you know, vocalizing or on the holds. So it's, it's, it's like synced perfectly. That's what, what really I think is one of the game changers is the, the music pairs to like the, the rhythm of the breath and the long exhales and the long inhales in this, this really unique way. And, and again, like even when you're doing the long exhale, sometimes it'll just, be, you know, the drum beat will disappear and it'll just kind of feel like you're, you're shifted in this like interstellar space. And then the breath work picks back up and the beats start again. Yeah, I think that's what's really cool is we're not like a team of business people that, you know, had this idea where all hardcore breathwork users and we make the content ourselves. And so it's not like we had an idea to make an app and went out and hired some people. Like we make it ourselves because that's what we do, you know? And so for me, when I was struggling in this low point, I didn't want to be around alcohol. And so Harry, Amanda, my other partner, my wife, who's a co-founder, my other best friend, Miles, there's five of us. It's just like a, you know, family kind of company. And we would have these breathwork parties where 10 people would come over and instead of drinking alcohol, we would do a, you know, 60 minute, 90 minute roller coaster, electronic music breathwork where it felt like you're at a concert. Yeah. You have a total state shift and then you would share. And I was like, well, that's amazing Friday night. It's actually a cool way to start. Like I, I have dinner parties at my house, especially during the winter, we kick them off. Like we'll have dinner at seven and I'll tell folks, well, 
you show up at six and any of you who want to join for the sauna and usually it's just like a bunch of bunch of the guys will will go down to the sauna and the girls seem to want to sit upstairs and drink some wine and chat not to stereotype but that just seems to, to be the way things tend to progress and we'll do one of these breath work sessions literally as like a you know some people sit around the the living room and whatever smoke a cigar have a beer or whatever we'll go down to the sauna and just do like a 20 to 30 minute breath work session and burn some incense and some essential oil and then trapes out to the cold pool and come in for dinner and oh my gosh like those are the best dinner parties ever yeah just like you need if you're you're sober like everybody wants to connect right so you're, you're going out to this dinner and, and you want to share and you want to connect but it's there's like a barrier sometimes of, of anxiety discomfort social anxiety it just takes a little bit to get going so people use one glass of wine two glasses of wine so what if there was another way to make you feel comfortable and alive you know but it was healthy yeah. And so that's that's the, the ice bath, the sauna, breathwork. These things are like the make you a superpower in connecting socially, getting over social anxiety. But then, you know, you have an amazing sleep score the next day and you feel incredible. So it's like they're that this is the future of socializing, in my opinion, is is healthy ways to connect. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you have all sorts of different breathing styles that you guys kind of like, like mix and match as you go through, like there's elements of box breathing and diaphragmatic breathing and Wim Hof and alternate nostril and four, seven, eight and, and Kundalini. And a lot of times you'll be going through a session and realize by the time it's finished, you've done like six different forms of breath work, but they're categorized. Like if you open up the app, they're categorized. Like there's, there's up, which you mentioned earlier, which is kind of like the, the big energizing ones. Then there's down, which are really great for sleep or lulling yourself off to sleep or getting to sleep when you've woken up in the night and, and need to get back to sleep. And then there's like these all around ones that are just kind of all over the place. And then there's another one called body. And that one's kind of interesting because the, the first couple of times I did it, I'd, I wasn't really ready, but you're kind of like massaging different parts of your body and sometimes moving and dancing and doing self-inflicted somatic therapy. Tell me a little bit more about the, about the body section because I think that one's kind of interesting. Yeah, there's two sections that are sort of like really different from any other app. And so one is all around what you mentioned, and that's meant to be therapy like sessions at an affordable price point. And they're all around emotions. And so it might be anger release or guilt release or self love. And so it's combining breath work with like NLP and different therapy techniques. So when you're in that state, you know, and, and why people use that is, is if you're struggling. So you know, anytime, to, even like you mentioned, we do a deep dive, like once a month or twice a month, you're kind of getting rid of the emotional buildup that's related to life. So, you know, you're, you know, switching jobs, moving houses, struggling with overwhelm, having a fight with your partner, all of those things, angry with a coworker, like you can just re process those emotions and let them go instantly. So that's really different. And then the other is, is body, which is this there's tons of new research around somatic work. And that's just simply the idea that we store emotions in our body. And so an interesting example that people talk about, is there's this Dr. Peter Levine and he, he references animals. And so if you see a, a gazelle attacked in the wild, it'll escape and it'll lay on the ground and shake. Because their nervous system is turned on, animals will shake out and process the emotions and the energy from that nervous system explosions. The same thing happens to us. We turn on our nervous system. We're angry at work. How did that person say that to us? You know, angry with our partner. Boom. You feel that fight or flight turns on, but we don't have a good mechanism to process it. So what is believed to happen in the science is that we store those emotions in our, in our body. And so there's this forms of somatic therapy, shaking, gentle movement and stretching, cold plunges, sauna, all these different things that turn off exercise is, is actually a form of this as well. And so you, you're turning off yoga is another one. You're turning off the thinking mind, the part that's just like, oh, I've got these 10 tasks, this and that. I'm, you know, I'm not a good person. I'm an imposter. All these crazy thoughts you have and you're getting into your body. And so teaching people to just gently stretch and shake out emotions, it's really powerful. So in that section, there's like wild shaking, there's yelling. So vocalizations, which are great because we are told, you know, you're in high school and kids are like, Oh, don't, don't speak up. Don't be different. We're going to make fun of you. And you're kind of told not to be loud and not to share your emotions in our society. It's right. We develop almost like these closed off throat chakras. My, my wife had to struggle a lot with that just due to some educational and learning difficulties. And, you know, she, she still does have to work on like throat chakra and chanting and singing and alming is something I've really focused on with my sons. 
and we do some of those sessions. And it's been interesting to see them progress over the past couple of years to be able to really, you know, if those long inhales just do a full on, you know, from the heart, like an um or anything else that the that the app is calling for. So yeah, I think I think a lot of people neglect that component, like the vocal toning component. There's tons of science around it also for moving into the parasympathetic, for releasing, and, and just even think about it like we're just taught to fit in. And so I see, I've seen thousands of people that come for one of these breathwork concerts and we start off blindfolded with movement and person's first time, they're kind of moving a bit in their mind. It's, I look silly, even though they're blindfolded, what are people going to think? And then, you know, it comes time to scream and it's like, ah, yeah, <laughs> and, exactly. You know, five weeks later after five sessions, it's like, yeah, of course I'm going to, when do in my life do I scream? You know, right. like we're meant to let it out. And it's like, when was the last time you just walked in your backyard and ripped a scream? And so I think guiding people to feel okay expressing themselves is so powerful. So that's sort of what the what the body section is about. Yeah, yeah. And then the other one that's super interesting is the couples. And you know, th this is this is a discussion that if you're listening at work, you might have to turn it down a little bit if you're driving with the kids in the minivan, but with, with the couple sessions, like my wife and I have used those for, for lovemaking and for foreplay. And they're like, they're not short. I think what's the shortest couple session. I think it's like a half hour long, right? Yeah. There's two, there's a couple's energy and there's a love bond that are quite yeah. strong, but, but even I'm so glad you brought this up and you're actually the one who suggested this and we finally got on it. So this February, we're going to be releasing an intimacy challenge, 14 days. And it will be from beginner to advanced with beginner being, you know, breathwork and eye gazing. Then it might be breathwork and loving kindness meditation all the way to, you know, naked breathwork and self-pleasure, breathwork and massage. And so we're kind of going to push the envelope here and be, again, be a lot different than other apps and have guided uh, sexual intimacy exercises together. And I think that's something like, wow, okay, well, if I, you know, instead of going on a date, if I can play this and just follow along to the instructions with awesome music and have this amazing connection, um, that's really different too. It's somewhere where I'm glad you kind of pushed us to look at because we're working with three or four of the best sex and relationship counselors in the US. So super, super excited to launch that in a couple of months. Hey, let's talk uh, electrolytes. Uh, we've established the fact that I am super into salts. I salt a ton. And one of the reasons for that is when I used to race Ironman triathlon, we had a exercise physiologist from Gatorade come up and test our whole team. I raced for team Timex. And it turns out that I had an enormous amount of sweat sodium loss, like three times the average amount. I began to use a lot of salt, around six grams a day, along with a host of other uh, electrolytes, like full spectrum electrolytes, and immediately performance got better, recovery got better. I would go to sleep at night and not feel my blood pounding in my ears, which I'd grown so accustomed to and that I thought was normal. And I am still super into electrolytes, but I want them to taste good. I want to be free of sugar and artificial ingredients and coloring. I don't want, well, Let's cut straight to the chase, uh, Gatorade. So, uh, or any of these other multicolored, basically, you know, sugar bottles that, that you can buy. They're just chock full of all sorts of crap. So I think one of the best electrolytes formulas out there is uh, one that is uh, low carb, paleo, keto, fits into whole food diets, good for fasting, good for athletes, good for a wide variety of health conditions, designed by a trusted friend of mine whose name is Rob Wolf, designed with a host of science on the actual ratios behind things like the sodium, the magnesium, the potassium, the calcium, et cetera, and used by a wide variety of special forces, tech leaders, professional athletes, you name it. It's called Element. And whether you're a mom or an exercise enthusiast or a big sweater or a sauna lover, or you want a dynamite, no sugar margarita with their citrus salt flavor, yes, it's good, then you need Element. You'll get a free gift from Element if you go and order some with my link and your body is going to thank you big time because this stuff tastes good and is good for you and solves the electrolyte equation, stops it in its tracks when it comes to anything related to an electrolyte deficiency or imbalance. Go to drinklmnt.com slash Ben Greenfield. Drinklmnt.com slash Ben Greenfield. Get your free gift with your purchase. Drinklmnt.com slash Ben Greenfield. I'm pretty stoked because this is now something I can do when I'm on the go. And it's based on this idea that the human body being mostly water. But what you probably don't know is everything else in your body is 50% amino acids. That means basically water and amino acids are two of the most important things that you can have in your body. And some amino acids are essential. 
You have to get them from food, from breaking down steak and chicken and eggs and everything else. But this stuff called Keon Aminos is a plant-based full essential amino acids profile backed by over 20 years of clinical research with the highest quality ingredients, no fillers, no junk, rigorous quality testing, tastes amazing with all natural flavors. I got on the amino acids bandwagon way back when I was racing Ironman Triathlon. Started with branch chain amino acids, realized those were a waste of time, switched over to essential amino acids, and it has been a game changer ever since. Now, what did I mean when I said travel? Well, these Keon aminos, which are the essential amino acids that I take, they have for the watermelon flavor, the lemon lime flavor, the berry flavor, and uh, the mango flavor. They got stick packs now, so you can take them on the go anywhere. I I honestly have like a couple packs of my fanny pack now. I can dump them in water when I'm at a restaurant, have that instead of like a bread, a basket that comes out or a cocktail. They satiate the appetite. They accelerate recovery. They're amazing pre-workout or during a workout. The list goes on and on. Fact is, if you haven't tried essential amino acids, you're missing out. And you can save 20% now on any monthly deliveries and 10% on any one-time purchases if you go to getkeon.com slash Ben. That's getkion.com slash Ben to get my fundamental supplement for fitness. Keon Aminos, getkion.com slash Ben. This is it. This is a big announcement. I'm thinking you're going to really dig this. It's something I've been working on. For the past three years, probably one of the biggest and most exhausting projects I've ever done in my life. I've been asked for a long time to write a book on family and parenting and legacy and raising healthy and resilient and free thinking and impactful children. I've never felt very qualified to be able to write that kind of book because my sons are just 14 and who's to say they're not going to wind up in prison. Uh, (laughs) But I know a lot of parents with incredibly impactful children, entrepreneurs, billionaires, single moms and dads, divorced parents, pastors, my parents, education experts, legacy builders, wealth management experts, just people who have really decoded life, legacy, discipline, education, everything that goes into kind of like the blueprint for raising a tiny little superhuman. So what I did was kind of in the style of you know, like Tools of Titans or Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss, if you're familiar with that, I basically interviewed over 30 sets of amazing, amazing parents. And I gathered all their knowledge, all their wisdom, all their little tips and tricks and insider strategies and tools and resources. And I put them all together in a book. I don't know if you read my book, Boundless, but this is like what Boundless was for biohacking, this is that for parenting. It's actually called Boundless Parenting. It is well over 650 pages long. It is a tome. It is everything a new parent or existing parent or teacher or grandparent or anyone else who interacts with children would ever need to know with interviews and tips from the best of the best parents on the face of the planet. It's called Boundless Parenting Tools, Tactics, and Habits of Great Parents. Boundless Parenting Tools, Tactics, and Habits of Great Parents. It's available now for pre-orders. It's uh, all at boundlessparentingbook.com. I guess there's not a whole lot for me to say other than that. If you go to boundlessparentingbook.com, you can sign up there. You can get on the pre-order list. We're giving away a bunch of bonuses to the first handful of people who get on that pre-order list. So pre-orders are open. Yeah. Now, if you're hearing this, boundlessparentingbook.com. I am so blessed and I'm so grateful and I'm so freaking excited about this project. You have no idea. I'm just like beaming from ear to ear right now. So if you can help me share the word about this book, gosh, I would be super grateful. If you want to pick one up for yourself or copies for friends, again, I'd be super grateful. I think that we can change a lot of people's lives, a lot of children's lives, develop legacies that will last for generations to come after we've left this planet with a book like this. So boundlessparentingbook.com, check it out. And thank you so much for being a part of this. It's really interesting because at first I thought when when I, I put it on and suggested to my wife that we try one of the new couple sessions that it might kind of feel like, you know, weird with other voices in the bedroom and, you know, people you don't know talking to you on the app. And then once we started it, I mean, you get into this state of flow 
that not only by the time you actually do start making love it makes it an entirely different experience, but you almost get into this like uh, this this tantric state where I mean we we can literally just make love for ever after doing those breathwork sessions, but you keep on doing that same breathwork, which I think for a lot of people, you know, like men who have maybe read the multi-orgasmic male book and not actually implemented some of those power draws or known how to tie their breath to their physical movement or the emotional connection during sex, or for people who just haven't really figured out a way to make breath kind of like um, unconsciously competent during sex, this this makes that transition so much easier. Like I, I had never really realized how much of a difference it would make in the lovemaking process to do like a big dose of breath work beforehand as a couple. And a lot of times like we'll start clothes and then as the breath work progresses, you know, we'll remove items of clothing as we go. But it's for any couples out there who have not tried like couples breath work, it's like you mentioned, you know, instead of going on a date or whatever. Yeah. I mean, spend like the half hour hour you'd normally spend just like eating food and drinking wine and do the breath work together instead. And man, that's a total game changer. But just it's so strange in our society because one, there's huge stigma to like, okay, I'm going to go to a couples therapist, right? Like most people will just not do that and it's expensive and you have to share. And so it's like, well, when do I really work on my relationship? You know, and there's not a lot of ways, like if I even wanted to, how do I do it? And so most people listening are probably thinking, yeah, you know, I have a good relationship, but you know, the same way, probably all your listeners like, yeah, I go to the gym. I do some meditation, I have these weekly routines that make me healthy, but what about making relationship healthy? And there's not like cool, easy, accessible ways to do that. So for, you know, small price, like 1% of what a therapy session is, not to say it replaces therapy, but like you can do this at home. You don't have to admit to anybody or that you're talking to a doctor or say there's a problem. It can be something like super fun that you look forward to. And that's just, you know, we've had people say, we, we actually do couples classes in the space also. And so the couples class is a date night in the space where in the sauna, you actually do a guided massage of each other. You then go in the ice bath, you do an eye gaze and you repeat these lines, this, this hot aponopono to each other. You hug each other to warm up and then you go back in the sauna and you share a time you felt supported. And so it's all guided, but it's done in a way where you feel like, yeah, this is like a wicked Friday night. The music's awesome. The space is amazing. And so think ways to make therapy like techniques fun and accessible and cool is what's going to make it mainstream that like, yeah, I should work on my emotions and feel good about it. Yeah. It's really interesting when you talk about the physical spaces that you have up there. I, I think it does. I think the last time we talked, you were expanding them into other places, but tell me more about these brick and mortar facilities. Cause I actually haven't been to one. I really want to go, but in my mind, it sounds like some kind of like a breathwork gym. Sort of, but then, so there, there's definitely classes, but, but really, you know, as I mentioned, first day, hot and cold, I was a drug and alcohol addict. And when I was sober, I was like, I want to do something at night that's fun. You know, and I would go out and I didn't really want to be around alcohol. So all of a sudden, like sporting events, bars, nightclubs, restaurants, very challenging environments for me. So I'd go to these bathhouses and, you know, bathhouse is a giant sauna, cold plunge, steam room. And I always had a really good time, but they weren't really geared towards like a, a nightlife spot. And so we decided, you know, we started with the ice bath, as I mentioned, we had the garage space. And then during COVID, we got a really good deal on a lease and opened this, this first space in Toronto. And there's a couple of reasons people go. So one, if you're thinking about why you even go out and socialize, usually it's for community and connection, maybe to find a romantic partner, and then also to change your, your state, which is usually done with music and alcohol. So what if I could offer you all of those things, but in a healthy way where you, you know, you go home and your whoop or aura score is your HRV is great. You fall asleep. You had real connection. And so, as we said, the ice bath and the sauna are the things that like get you ready, prime you, make you feel great. So you're ready to connect with others. So yeah, the space, there is some breath work, but it's mostly about connection. And so every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night from 8 PM to sort of two in the morning, it's a, it's a party. The music's turned up. There's guides, people are mingling. It's super fun. And then also in the spaces, there's classes each day. And the classes are like on the app. There's up classes. So think of like Wim Hof breathing, dunking your head in the ice bath, vocalizations, loud, like hip hop, electronic music. There's down classes. 
So candle lit, sound bath, internal journeying, stuff like that. And then there's all around classes and the all arounds are sort of like the couples one I mentioned. There's an anger release where you bring up moments of anger and the sonic goes pitch black and everyone screams and they release. And so it's, it's very similar to what's on the app, but modified for the physical space with a guide. And so the space is open morning to night um, for either classes or socials. And I just think it's kind of like a new community space for, you know, I, I mentioned our nervous systems, loneliness at all time highs, stress at all time highs. Like there's not healthy places to go and congregate at night. You know, there's gyms, great. There's fitness classes, but what do you do at night? And that's when unhealthy stuff happens. You know, you go to a party, it's like, oh, I destroyed my body, but there's just not alternatives. And so the whole goal is just helping you fix your nervous system in community. The idea of kind of like having the sauna and the ice baths combined with the breath work is, of course, something that I think a lot of people are already familiar with and many people are experimenting with. But have you found other modalities to fit in well with that type of experience, you know, whether whether it's certain hacks or supplements or you know anything else like out of biohacking or beyond that you've kind of thrown into the mix and found resonated with a lot of people? So one thing we found is, is thinking like you're, you're exactly the test case. So you, you have this sauna, you're probably in there at least two 15 minute sessions two 20 minute sessions, maybe longer. So, you know, in one day you're in there 40 minutes, it's like, okay, I have 40 minutes here. I'm not on my phone. I'm not doing work. Like, what am I doing? And so you could be listening to podcasts, but sometimes you can make that time more exciting. So it's one of the only places where someone goes and you have a captive audience. So it's incredible for what we've seen is like some of the things that we like to draw from the modalities is essential oils and scents. And so I also heard a podcast with uh, essential oil wizardry and and Nick. Yeah. Dr. Nick from uh, essential oil wizardry. Yeah. And this stuff is awesome. Um, And so each round there'll be a snowball filled with a different concoction. It could be, you know, rosemary eucalyptus. It could be Chinese cedar wood and cinnamon. And and so depending on if the class is up or down, you can use up or down smells. And that has seemed to be people, we don't use our sense of smell too much. It's like one of the most disregarded scents, even though it's so powerful, bypasses the prefrontal cortex, goes right to the emotional brain, triggers those memories. And so every class will have like a palette of scents for different reactions. They'll have breath work. And so usually in 20 minutes, there's about five songs, five rounds. So there'll be some breath work down or up. There'll be some visualizations. There'll be some vocalizations. So like screams and different stuff to like let go of the body. And then there'll be some movement. A couple that we've seen really interesting to kind of stack in there is stretching. Because your body's hot, you can get some into some deep movement, long yin yoga style stretching, nerve flossing. So a combination of, of those five things um, around usually an emotion seems to be the, the, the holy grail that people enjoy. What about things like, uh, you know, niacin for increased blood flow or, you know, other things that come to mind would be like, you know, cordyceps mushroom extract for kind of like the, the adaptogenic effect that has on the lungs or even things like, obviously a lot of people will pair ketamine with breath work as another example. Like what, what about nutrients or supplements or even drugs like that? So I would put this out. I'm, I'm not an expert here and I would put this out to anyone on the show, any listeners. We are in the process of creating a pre and post cold plunge drink that'll be served in the space. And we're thinking something post plunge uh, to heat you up. So potentially some jalapeno, uh, you know, different items that are going to uh, help with that extreme cold and your body's ability to burn more sugar as ther- thermogenesis turns on. And then in the sauna, Uh, Right now we're using element packages, which are a fantastic product for hydration, but we want to make an entire drink. So what kind of uh, nutrients, vitamins could we make that increase these feelings? And so, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not an expert and actually I probably, you would know much better than me, but we're very interested in as part of that class when you're coming in, what is the optimal pre-plunge and post-plunge drink and post on a rehydration drink? So I think that would be an awesome product. Yeah, I I think a couple of things to think about would be, first of all, things that would help to support for the for the ice component, the conversion of brown adipose tissue or the conversion of of white tissue to brown adipose. So some of the things that that come to mind for that would be like uh, green tea extract is one. 
caffeine is another to just basic, you know, any, any caffeine derivative, vitamin B5, and then also niacin, like those, those seem to also help with that effect. I, I had a podcast a while back where I talked about all these things that could help to boost fat burning in cold conditions. Vitamin A is another big one. And so considering the white fat to brown fat conversion would be one. Another one would be what increases body heat for the actual sauna component. So there's things like um, a, a lot of things that are used now as metabolic enhancers, like things that increase metabolism. l is one, B-A-I-B-A. Their uh, green tea extract can also help with this black pepper extract or more specifically grains of paradise, which I actually use in my pepper grinder on our counter. You think you're grinding pepper onto your salad, but all of our pepper grinders, it, it's grains of paradise extract, which has the same flavor profile as black pepper, but it actually increases metabolism and can also cause that shift of white fat to metabolically active brown fat. Bitter melon, like the stuff we have in Keon Lean, that's another one that can help with that that conversion. Um, and then there's also a herb called astragalus in there as well. So those would be a few examples of things to think about for the uh, for the increase in the heat component or increasing the white fat to brown fat conversion component. And then of course, back to the actual breath itself. Yeah, anything, pro probably cordyceps would be one of my favorites for that. But any of the vasodilatory substances as well, right? Like a watermelon extract, uh, beetroot extract, you know, anything along those lines that you'd find a typical pre-workout, you know, those, those so-called, you know, natural forms of Viagra, even like L-arginine, citrulline, uh, Yohimbi, like a lot of those could also be thrown into the mix. And there's no reason you couldn't develop a supplement that hits all three. That'd be kind of unique, right? You, It's totally built for breathwork sauna cold where you've got your lung openers, you know, like a cordyceps, you've got your fat burners, like a, like a EGCG, you know, the green tea extract, et cetera. And then you have your body heat increasers like the, you know, like grains of paradise or the Elbeba. And so what would be cool is you could actually develop a powder that has, Honestly, for most of those, the volume wouldn't have to be enormous for the powder. But yeah, like, like a stick pack that someone could could pour into their water to just sip during the entire session or before that has a lot of those things in it. That, that would be kind of a cool, cool concept. I don't think there's anything like that right now that I could think of in the industry for specifically like that breath, heat, cold components. So yeah, it could be pretty cool, actually. I think it's a great idea. If, if anybody you know wants to work on that, we have an audience and we're happy to start testing and just kind of handing out packs. And I think exactly what you said, the nitric oxide boosters will really improve yeah. the breathwork experience. Like that's a that's a fantastic idea. Yeah, that'd be super interesting. And do you do you guys have plans to go beyond Toronto for these locations? Selfishly enough, I'd I'd love to be able to, to drop into something like this in the US. Yeah, so we've actually submitted two offers in New York, one in Brooklyn and another in Manhattan. And so by the end of next year, I'm, you know, 95% confidence we'll have uh, four studios uh, in New York and Toronto. And then we're looking at the West Coast uh, also. Cool. So back back to the app itself. When you guys are are working with the app, uploading routines, etc. How often do you actually add new tracks to the app? Like I like I see them pop up now and again, but I'm really not sure what the what the frequency is because it's obviously like a paid app. So I'm sure people expect updates here and there as they go through it. Yeah, we had a few a week, and so it just depends on the week. Like sometimes we'll add, we'll record. I would say around. 15 to 20 a month. Mm -hmm. And then we'll drop in, you know, kind of three here and there uh, a week on average. And it just depends on what users are asking for and if we come up with new ideas. So the way the app works is every day you're going to get a new up and down. And so an app is like minimally guided, you know, let's say on average three rounds or so of Wim Hof style, Tumo style breathing. That's like, I know in six to seven minutes, I'm going to blast off. And every day I know that I'm going to have a, a down session that if I'm working super hard and I want to relax for a minute or if I'm struggling to sleep, it's there. And I think there's a couple hundred of each of those that rotate. So there's always going to be a new up and down. And then the all around content, the body content, those are harder to create. They take longer. They're longer sessions. The ideas need more refining and research. Uh, they're more maximally guided. And so those every month will we'll pick a focus. So in January, we're actually launching and we're actually going to gift this out for free. Uh, for anyone who asks, but a 30-day cold plunge challenge. And so each day will be sort of a three to five minute meditation for the cold plunge. 
Some will include like breathwork pre-plunge. Some will include breathwork in plunge. Some will include like uh, vocal toning and different visualizations in the ice. And so the idea is if I get through this challenge, I can make cold bathing a habit. And so that was a big focus last month was getting that content ready. And then, as I mentioned, February is an intimacy month. So there's always up and down content that we think is best in class and then all around content coming out uh, a bit less frequently. Okay. So in, in terms of the actual sessions themselves, there's obviously a ton in there. A couple of my favorites are the one, the feel fantastic now and feel good now. I think those are like 15 to 17 minute sessions that it's nearly impossible to do and not just feel on top of the world when you finish. But do you have what you would consider to be like some of the favorites, some of the must do's within the app that you think people should try if they get their hands on it? So I think there's three thing, three ways to test, right? There's the up, down, and all around. And I think the all around sessions are the ones where you're like, whoa, I didn't even know you could do that. You know, especially if you've never tried breath work before. It's like, that's the ones where, you know, you're conquering your fears, you're crying, you're feeling love for the first time, you're seeing visions of your inner child. And, and nothing, we really stay away from like woo woo language. It's all based on science and emotion. So it's accessible for everybody. So if you're in the app, you know, the first thing to do is search by duration, find a long session and do it with a friend. You know, anything that's like 30 minutes to 60 minutes in the all around section, then we, we call them other trips. Yeah. So they're very, you know, psychedelic inspired. They're trippy. Yeah. And so those are like the bangers, the bazooka, where if you're like, hey, I'm feeling stressed or not feeling like myself, or there's some feelings here I need to work through. That's it. You know, one hour on a Sunday morning in the evening, maybe with some friends, maybe by yourself. That's like exactly what I would, would definitely try because that's most unique. Like you can't get that on Calm or Headspace anywhere else. It's, it's very, very unique. And then in the up section, I love the morning energy flow, morning hip hop, uh, ones that you know feel fantastic now, feel good now. There's an actual morning journey. It's like a 30 day uh, morning routine challenge in the journey section. And so if you're just like, hey, I want to get started, can you commit to what we found to build a habit is Monday to Friday, take the weekends off, but say, hey, I'm going to do this for 30 days, Monday to Friday. So it's six weeks. And just in that challenge, you can do a different one each day. And they're all kind of five minutes to 10, 12 minutes of ups. And I think that's the best way to really build the habit that like, hey, this is as good as coffee for me in the morning. I'm not as much the down person. I'm like, I, I get the sense you're also more of a, you know, I want to push it, push the envelope and, and stimulate. Yeah. And for me too, it's like in the evening, by the time I get, you know, get the family up to the bedroom and, and do our bedtime routine and everything is like a breathwork session in the evening sometimes just isn't as doable as one earlier in the day or, you know, for that morning workout type of session. Yeah. There's, there's one, uh, even just to get started, there's like a perfect breath. I think it's called, it's like a minute long or two minutes long and it's one breath. So it's, you know, a 30 second inhale, a 30 second hold, 30 second exhale. And so it's like, oh, I've never done this before. What happens if I'm struggling? You know, and like you said, like, oh, two minutes and you can just show yourself. You can, again, search by duration and show yourself, hey, two minutes, this is going to make a difference because you're changing your physiology. And so I think for a lot of people, meditation is very hard, you know, calm headspace. I downloaded it five times. I meditated for 60 days. Nothing's happening. I'm sitting down. I don't know. I've deleted it. The nice thing about breathwork is in a single session, you're not working on awareness. You're working on state change. And so you can, you can feel the change in your body in two minutes. And so that's another good place to start is the short ones. And just, you know, I'm struggling at work. I know there's this SOS single deep breath, you know? So, so those are ones I really like. Personal favorite is also uh, inner calm on the downside. It's like binaural beats mixed with slow breathing. That one for me will knock me out every single time. Yeah. So that's kind of a, if you're up, down, all around, there's, there's try one of each. Yeah. So in terms of what you guys might be doing in the future, you're obviously going to expand these brick and mortar facilities, which I really want to drop into and visit. And I'd encourage people to, to try it out. If you're already in Toronto, you probably could. But as far as within the app itself or elsewhere, as far as the direction of other ship, you guys plan on adding anything else that's that's new or interesting to the app or to the, the brick and mortar experience? Yeah, so I think the vision is really based on personal experience. And so what I found was it was very hard to be ready to change. And so, I, you know, addiction and losing my company, I was almost forced into change. So it's really hard to take that first step. So even if I said... I know you, you talk about, you know, meditation retreats and psychedelics and all these things like, you know, therapy. 
people just aren't ready for those like massive experiences to start. And then even if they do those massive experiences, and I and a lot of people probably have had plant medicine experiences or again, meditation retreats, when you come back, the first thought is, oh, my life has changed. And it's really not. What happens is for three weeks, you feel changed. And then you sort of, you know, same friends, same habits, same thought patterns. And so it's very hard to get into the mindset that I want to change. And then even when you try these big transformations, it's hard to maintain it. So we call that like prep and integration. And so what I, I see others solving over the next 10 years is it's a really easy onboarding. So there's no spirituality component. It's very much at least discussed. It's very much, hey, whatever you believe, you can bring that here. It's totally open. It's just science-backed experiences that are fun and done in community. Okay, great. I can go there for a birthday. I can have some fun. I can go to a concert. And so it kind of gets you into the mode of, wow, this is, this is important. And then when you have those big experiences, whether it be religious or meditation or whatever, when you come back to your city, there's like a group of people that are also trying to change for the better and be, be in a positive community. And so what I see Othership as is this hub of physical spaces, this app that you can use daily to shift your state when you need. And then we're going to launch a product called Groups eventually. And the idea of a group is, you know, maybe you're lonely and you've come 25 times and get the offer to join a group. And the group is once a week, a, a virtual meetup on the app where you share and you learn. And so you might share how you're feeling really. And then there's a, a challenge around like service to others, because I think that's really important also for happiness. So it's once a week, once bi-weekly on the recorded session together, or a virtual session. Then once a week, you go meet in the space. And then you do that for two, three months. And then it ends in a retreat. And the retreat can be psychedelic medicines. It could be, you know, a landmark leadership form or a Tony Robbins. It could be just a nature retreat. The whole thing is bringing a group together to meet and share their feelings virtually, to meet in physical space, and then to do a deep transformational experience together, and then continue it when they come back. So I think with that methodology in all cities, you're starting to build this platform where people can make real sustainable behavioral change. Because what I've seen in my psychedelic use is that just the psychedelics alone, or just the meditation alone, when you don't have the community and the integration, it's harder to change. And so I just I feel like you have this entire system together with people and there's like a component of service to others that'll be what makes people happy yeah that's really cool I mean, and that, that's obviously way more dynamic than anything that's going on right now as far as i know in the, in the breath work and the breath work app it's all it's almost like a an integration component worked in you know it, it's like when, when i do the breath work sessions with my sons which is typically in the sauna we finish and I actually walk them through like a vagal nerve reawakening process where we open our eyes and I have them shift their gaze to the left then the right then up and down with minimal movement of the head and then shift their gaze at something far in the room, shift their gaze at something close in the room, shift their gaze to something round, shift their gaze to something square. So that's like about two minutes for us when we finish. And then I tell them, okay, we're all going to very quietly go through the yard out into the cold tub. It's about a 50 yard walk. And our, our only goal is to remain in that same state of mindfulness and intentionality that we developed during the actual breath work session. And then we slip into the cold pool just very quietly and slowly and do a few head dips in the cold pool. And then the understanding between all of us is none of us have to talk to each other. We can all be in our own space and we just we're usually doing these sessions at like sometime between six and six thirty. We'll start. Usually, we meet up for family dinner at seven, so they know all they need to do is just like be in the kitchen at family dinner at seven. But I give them this whole time. Usually, it's a good like half hour to forty five minutes to just soak up everything that they've experienced during the breathwork session. Do the cold afterwards, but there's not a lot of chatter. There's not a lot of like laughing, joking, anything. Like we're just all inside our own space after we do that vagal nerve reawakening. We go out, we do the cold, and then eventually, you know, everybody's showered up and and dressed, and you know, a lot of times they're like in their bathrobes at at the dinner table. But that's what we did like all last winter, and you know, we're recording this right now in November. So we're actually we're starting up our breathwork gong again. This is kind of like perfect timing in a few days in December and all through this winter, 
we'll be doing the same thing, father, son, about three times a week, the 15 minute sessions, and then one or two times a month, we do the full on 60 minute session in the sauna. And it, it's actually really amazing to see how it improves things like focus, mindfulness, uh, awareness, and just overall calmness in a couple of, uh, well, last year when we did, they were 13, now they're 14. But I think it's just one of the best things for, for kids, especially to develop this intimate connection with their own breath work, to be able to turn the dial up and down on their own physiology, and then also to be given like that space to integrate afterwards. I mean, there's nothing like that in the world, you know, and then imagine on top of that, all the parents in your neighborhood were doing that and the kids met in a group and shared, you know, when, what kind of training is there for kids to master their emotions? Almost none. So, and you know, it's because that kind of training in a room with a therapist is, it's harder to focus, especially as you're younger. And so now what you're creating is like these physical sensations through breathing hot cold that put them into a state that like wow okay you know now they're ready to, to integrate right and so it's just it's brilliant it's like priming your state to make real sustainable change and then because they enjoy the hot cold and the, and the breathing like you, you know you mentioned you're doing it every day the deep dives monthly like you need all of these things are not one and done right like they're they're life habits you need to implement to make real change so it's, it's so cool to hear you're, you're doing that yeah it's been a, a huge huge boost for just our, our connection as fathers and sons and or as father and sons. And also I think just systematically using othership, one of the, one of the better ways to actually have access to a whole bunch of sessions that we can, that we can choose from with, uh, with othership. It's obviously a paid app just to, to come right out and be transparent with people. I don't think it's like the least expensive breathwork app out there. I think if, if you, if you subscribe, what's the approximate cost? So it's a $128 a year mm -hmm. and I think around $18 a month. Okay. Um, and we do have a scholarship program, which people can email us about if uh, affordability is an issue. Oh, okay. What's the scholarship program? So just generally, if you email us and say like, Hey, I can't afford this. And you know, I'd like to get access. We'll, we'll gift, uh, we'll gift the membership completely. Okay, cool. And then for all of our listeners, we're doing, I think a 14 day free trial. If people just want to kick the tires and try it out. Right. Yep. Okay, cool. I'll link to that. I, th I think you just go to bengreenfieldlife.com slash othership. But what I'll do is uh, I made show notes for this show. If you go to bengreenfieldlife.com forward slash bent breath, Robbie's last name is bent. So bengreenfieldlife.com slash bent breath. And uh, I'll link to everything that Robbie and I talked about and link to the app. And also Robbie sent me over some cool videos, like an 1800 person ice bath in Toronto. And then, uh, yeah, also like a, there were like another, like a thousand people in that other breathwork session that you sent over to me, I think, was that through you guys or was that just like a, a city event? Yeah, we, we did it uh, with another group in the city. And so the, the idea is to create these massive events for awareness that like, Hey, you can connect with that alcohol. And the videos are incredible. Like one is 1800 person. Yeah. Which I, I think is, we didn't hire Guinness cause it's expensive, but I think it's a world record. And the breath work was also, you know, 850 or 900 people candle lit on like a Tuesday night in Toronto. And so the, the goal is like show people that there is demand for this stuff and people want to feel their emotions and do it in a way that's sober and healthy. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to put it out there now, but I want to do one 10,000 people in New York Jeez. around the launch. So that's sort of the, like, it just, it's a groundswell of, of people looking to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much impossible to not feel good after you use this thing. So for anybody listening, I highly recommend you try it out again. I try a ton of breathwork apps and this is my favorite bar none. I've done courses. Like I've, I did that course with uh, Naraj Naik, the uh, renegade pharmacist guy, Josh Trent has a great course to, you know, do the more didactic sessions, even though Othership also has a bunch of learnings as well within their app itself. But if you just want in your pocket, boom, click, I want to feel up. I want to go down. I want to, I want to trip out you know, anything. You just pick a session and you go. And, and again, you, you're learning how to elegantly use that free built in physiological adjuster that's inside each of us. So bengreenfieldlife.com slash bent breath is where I'll put the show notes and, uh, and the app is called Othership. You can check it out, bengreenfieldlife.com slash othership. Robbie, thanks so much for not only creating this, but also coming on the show and sharing some of the background behind it. Thanks, man. What a what a big moment and fun moment for me. I don't usually get 
nervous uh, doing these. But the heart, the heart was uh, pounding when we started. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty meaningful moment for me. So I appreciate it. Well, fortunately, you know what to do about a pounding heart. Just go, go grab one of those down <laughs> sessions. You'll be good to go. Cool. All right, folks. Well, I'm Ben Greenfield along with my friend, Robbie Bent, signing out from bengreenfieldlife.com. Try the other ship app. And until next time, have an amazing week. More than ever these days, people like you and me need a fresh, entertaining, well-informed, and often outside-the-box approach to discovering the health and happiness and hope that we all crave. So I hope I've been able to do that for you on this episode today. And if you liked it, or if you love what I'm up to, then please leave me a review on your preferred podcast listening channel, wherever that might be. And just find the Ben Greenfield Life episode. Say something nice. Thanks so much. It means a lot.